Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We working on the camper, went and got us some boards this morning. We got some stuff to seal the top up here around where it's still leaking some. I thought the leaks were fixed, but they're not completely fixed. So we got a couple of different things to put on there. Seal that, put the shower in, put the ceiling in. Uh, we're gonna try not to make a like a long detailed video on everything I do. Um, I've got a leak down the side I've got to fix. We've got a plug to hook the camper up. We have not tested any electrical. So we've got a lot we still got to do on it, and uh, we're getting close. We've got some stuff to put some flooring down. We're going to try to get all that done, so hang with us. All right, y'all, we have got some ceiling up here. Uh, not, everything is not perfect. There is not a lot of good stuff to screw to, but we do not have rotting up there. Now, what I am going to do is where I rip these two-by-fours like this, the ends off. That is what we're gonna go up here and put it to strip this out with. So once that is all done, then we will start painting and stuff. Um, we're gonna look and see what color paints we've got left over. Um, a lot of this thing, that, that thing that goes around this, there's a strip that goes over it. She's gonna spray paint it. Um, so we get in there. I have cleaned, tore all that mess out, put ceiling up. Um, and y'all look at the front. I couldn't hardly find nothing to screw to. It's bad. And, and I didn't really have a way to put nothing in there that was going to hold anything. We got it up there, though. Uh, but we got to get the top stopped leaking. I got to get my light put back up here, but I don't know this. This needs some attention. It had leaked in it and got it wet, so it had shorted out and it's i don't know some corrosion back there i don't know about this measure that in section yeah this ain't all We have got, got us a conundrum here. We're gonna figure it out though. Hey right, y'all. Oh, I didn't know that was gonna go in there or not. Then we got this, I don't know what you call it, old slick child boards too. But me and Michelle's talking. We're gonna pull this, I got a scrap piece. It's going to fit right, perfectly right in back here. So I'm going to pull this mirror and this plug and all out. And we're going to just put it on top of the wall right there. Cover some of this up. That way it's a little more waterproof over there. So I'm going to screw this in. And uh, if I get it over there where it goes. That bottom ain't. Place. There we go. Right. Right. We putting this up with screws. I'm gonna go ahead and put one right up here in the top, and I'm gonna probably cover them up. And I am using some long drywall type screws. I put me a, I didn't tell y'all this, but I put me a piece of oak down this back corner to have something to screw to. That's why it sounded different when I went in it. And I got me some tile and shower silicone to Yep. Okay. Ah, right. over here. My intentions is to go. I gotta back these couple of screws out. I'm gonna leave this board right here in, and we're just gonna go over the top of it, butt up against this wall, and uh, 
I don't know. I've got a. I'm gonna wish I had another board in this side too. I'm thinking right all of a sudden. I may have to tear that out to do it. Let me see. Let me let me do some more thinking. Y'all, I think I'm gonna have to tear into here. At least down this corner. Just simply to have something to screw to on this corner. I don't want the insulation ripped out. I wish I could, I'll tell you what I can do. I'll tell you what I can do. Instead of tearing all of it out, because it ain't no hurt now behind there. Brody is out there playing in a boat right outside the door. And he's steadily saying, Daddy, watch this. Daddy, watch this. He's loving the boat. I'll show y'all in a minute. He's going to be my boat fishing buddy. I can tell you already. All right, we got to pull these screws out of the way. I don't know how many of them are in there. But that is why it is leaking right there. Oh, Lord. I may have to go to the outside. Y'all see, that's what my whole L problem was. Good Lord. Oh. Well, let's fix it while I can. I'm tearing the camper up. Yeah, look at this hole I done tore in there. We can see slam through to the outside, Brody. Yeah. Let me go outside and push that back in. Y'all see that? Did you see? Look there. You be moon somebody in here shower. Next thing you know, somebody's peeping in there. <laughs> they would be peeping at me, I don't imagine. All right, we got us an oak. Good oak stick. I'll hold up a little more. Right in the... I don't know how I'm going to get that in there, though. I might should cut it in half. Screw it from the back wall back there in separate pieces, maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I might get it. I might get it. Oh yeah, we in there now. We in like Glenn now. It's in there. Right, see if we can get this piece over here in behind. Oh. I got this shower head and all that stuff over here. I gotta get around. I don't know if I can do it or not. There's too much junk in here. And y'all, Brody done got in trouble out there. I was gonna show y'all him a playing in a tour now. He's out there running over all my good wood with his tractor. And done about near got a spanking. <laughs> He's meaner than Eugene Ledbetter ever thought about being. They said old Eugene used to play dog. Said he'd get up onto the porch and said when somebody'd come up, said he'd come out and go rah rah rah. And said one day he, he said he bit eight Daisy on the leg. <laughs> He said Uncle Bert said whooped him and made him go up to his room and sit. 
said a little while, he let him come back out. He said, new jeans. said, you tell ain't that you sorry. He said, mm. <laughs> he said <laughs> Aunt Pat looked over at him and said, oh, I know he wants to be a sweet little boy. <laughs> he said, new jean reached over and got that picture of maple syrup and just poured it right over the top of Aunt Daisy's head. He said, you want something sweet? <laughs> Oh, Lord. That new jean was mean, now. I don't know how, y'all. I'm going to get that down in there without a destroying all of my corners. Oh, what in the world was that? I figure I'm going to tear up something. I can get it over after we put this dead blue shower in. Oh, let's jump. Who wants to take a shower anyway? <laughs> I bet they some of y'all thinking I probably need one. Oh. Now I have got to get it behind this tub over here. Y'all about got it over. Let me get my prize and tool. If it don't volunteer, I don't ask it twice. I pretty well make it go. <laughs> well, I finally got it in there. It took a little bit of persuasion, but we did get ah. Hey y'all, we're gonna have to hurry up because it's it's trying to get dark on us. What in the world happened? Screw broke. God damn it. Doggone it. Y'all, I don't know what they is to screw to over there. Probably nothing if you want to know God's own truth. Let me tighten this back up down. Oh, that's wrong directions, huh? Right. We're gonna gob that all full of silicone. I back up one screw out, I reckon. I don't know what that there. That in there is about the same shape as Over the sink that's in here. Oh. <coughs> We're going to wind up with a camper up in here, folks. So we'll, something fit to, fit to take a bath in, fit to take a nap in. Something 
And I ain't trying to make all this real, real, real pretty. I know somebody is probably frowning on my way of putting these big god awful screws in there, but I am going to silicone this. I do have a tube of bath and shower. If y'all ain't figured out with me yet, I am more about function than I am how something looks because, I, I mean, it's, it's a camper for crying out loud. Who's going to come walking up to this thing and go, oh, how wonderful you are? <laughs> no. They're going to be like, it's raining. Can I get dry? Yeah, come on in. <laughs> And that's what it's about to me. I, I did have the intentions of putting it up with liquid nails. But I seen real quick when I got in here and went to working on it that that, that wouldn't no hold it. Not, not to this wood. If I had good clean wood, yeah. It, it wouldn't no work in here. Mm -hmm. Hot hand. Wouldn't no happen. Now we gotta hang Marie Laveau's mirror back on the wall. All right, I know y'all can't really tell a whole lot, but we got silicone and I bought, I don't know what kind of, it was about, ain't none of it cheap no more. But we went down and went all around the tub, put the pieces back in. I have still got a little bit of cleaning out. I have got to do in the tub, but we are getting there. I gotta address this situation at some point. I gotta put something up there. There's nothing to really screw to. I've got some more of this board. I was planning on putting a piece of that up there. Y'all, I really don't wanna just tear into this roof. I, and I don't know how much water is gonna be splashing up the ice. I don't know what I wanna do because you could, if I start tearing into that roof, I could get in it cause I could have more water coming in if I don't get it put back together right. And I have gotta do something with this corner back here on the outside. Let me take you and show you that right quick. So this is the outside corner of the bathroom. And you see how it's separating all the way down through here? I have went in right here and right back here and right back here and put screws into that new piece of wood that I put in there. Let me move y'all the suns right there. Okay. I am thinking about getting me a flat piece of metal. You see how this is like... I mean, ain't none of it in really, really, really perfect condition. Oh, uh, I have got it solid now on this back side. Oh, uh, and the reason this is in and out is the, the board that's behind there is rotten, the, the little thin stuff. I'm going to take and put me a, cut me a strip of flat metal of some description and tuck it up in there and go all the way down. And then I'm going to silicone that with probably geo seal. Geo seal is what we used when I was doing metal roofing. I just seen that pollen is everything. It needs washing bad. And that geo seal, I think, will stay for this outside a whole lot better than anything else. Um, right around here. All right, we bought a couple of different things. Um, I bought some liquid nails and I didn't even use it, but I will use it eventually. I've got an adapter plug so I can plug this thing up. I have a really heavy extension cord. My intentions was, was to take this end off and permanently attach something on there, but now I'm just gonna plug this in there because that is all they had. I would rather make a plug on there and I eventually will do that. I just, I don't, with electricity, I don't like a lot of extra connections if not necessary. Um, this is, I gotta fix the toilet in the house. We have some of that peel and stick flooring, you know, the little squares, because it's a whole lot easier to put that than anything else. I don't have it here. Somebody gave us some, my, my wife's mama bought it, and she said, it won't stick to my floor, you can have it. I ain't gonna fool with it. Well, it won't stick to no floor. They actually make a primer that you paint down on the floor, enhances it. Well, why do that when you can buy vinyl floor adhesive? And it was like 20 bucks for the whole bucket. So we're gonna use this glue and we're gonna actually glue them little squares down like you would glue them, I know them. The leaks on the top, 
This is what I got. I don't know if it's gonna work. I talked to several people I have never tried to. This camper has that thin rubber mat basically up there. The rubber mat's good, it's still flexible. It's nothing wrong with it. It is the silicone around like the, where the antenna went up and where the skylight is and probably the air conditioner too. All those seams that they silicone, well, let's give up. And this is what, I'm going to do this around all of those seams, and I'm going to do like two or three coats of it probably. Uh, I'm going to do it like he was painting a car. I'm going to put it on there and let it sit there till it's almost to get hard, but it's still tacky, and put another coat on there where it'll bond together and make it thick enough that it's, and this is supposed to stay flexible, so... This is the stuff that we still got going on, so hang with us. We're going to try to get this thing ready to hit the road. I know y'all ready to go stay on the lake two or three days. I show sure am. Y'all, we got lights in here. Obviously, occasionally one ain't working, so I'm going to have to go through and take an account of what bulbs. That light over there on the cord, I had that in here checking plug-ins. Like, I plugged into every plug-in. Oh. But the main thing, I've got the refrigerator on, on electric. Uh, I don't know if it's working or not. We're going to have to... I don't, I don't really know how... Um, I'm not really familiar with how to operate it. Temp set, two, three. It goes to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to leave it on five. That's me. I, I really I don't know nothing about these things, y'all. Oh, uh, this stove right here, well, that raises up. That has got to have major cleaning in. See, nasty. So we got a lot of cleaning to do, but the main thing is this air conditioning unit right here. I wanted to know for if it was going to blow cold, ice cold air out. I've only got it on medium right now. I didn't want to take off right off the bat wide open. So y'all, we, we making progress. Oh. Uh, Sealing the top, putting the floor, and then reinstallation of the toilet. I have not hooked water to this thing yet. It may look like, you know, Old Faithful up there at Yellowstone when we, when we turn the water on. We're going to ease into that. Uh, we made sure, though, that everything didn't short out. Oh, I had to switch this switch. Hey, that works, too. We got plenty of lights. So... I mean, obviously, I got a few I got to replace. And this one here, come on. Negative. Negative, Ghost Rider. Well, sir. We're going to have to buy a few bulbs. I, I, but I can't tell if that will burn or not. I'll get a voltmeter. So, anyway, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so I got a towel. We're going to apply some sealing up here on this roof. And I am, it sprinkled this morning. It didn't rain, but it's enough to dampen things. So I am cleaning. I got, I was going to take this and like get all of this stuff off. But y'all, this rubber stuff, that is still stuck like really good. And I'm going to tear up my, this is that rubber. Y'all know what it is if you're familiar with campers. I don't, I can't explain. It's, it's a rubber material. I took a wire brush and I'm cleaning in all the cracks and all of that stuff really good to, just to make sure it's dry and it'll stick and roughed up. And, you know, I'm just using common sense. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Just common knowledge. I know for something to stick, it needs to be dry and rough. That's about anything. Paint, silicone, whatnot. They do have some products that claim they'll stick underwater, but I really had not never seen that to really be the truth. I have not used this stuff here. APOC, the top choice, the choice of top professionals. So we must be a professional today. If not, we'll tell somebody we're a professional and they won't know the difference. To be a professional at something, all that really means is you get paid to do it. It don't really mean you're good at it. <laughs> Y'all know that? <laughs> yeah. You ain't got to be good at it to be a professional. You just got to get somebody willing to pay you to do it. 
let's put some of this on there. I'll move the bucket out of your way. And y'all, like I said, now I don't know what I'm doing here. We are just going, I don't want to gob it too thick. Y'all know about gob. We're going to gob it on there. But we're not going to gob it too thick, see. And, and if y'all need one of these handy dandy trials, now I'll be glad to sell y'all one <laughs> for a small phenomenal fee. You're not gonna go to Lowe's and get a trial this good. <laughs> this is the antenna, and I, I probably ain't gonna never use this antenna. I probably should have just taken it off, but the problem was, was fixing the wood and the hole all under it. It was easier just to leave it alone, if you know what I mean. I have a little portable antenna that I could take and if I wanted to watch TV and probably mount it on a little pole and set it in the yard or something, you know, where I could adjust it. The problem with that is I'm sure Brody will relocate it. He, he likes to metal. Y'all know what metal means, right? I keep forgetting I use a lot of these old country words that some folks know. They don't have a clue what you're talking about. And I think it's hilarious. So, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about that. I grew up with that word. Put a little, another gob of that right here where that was. And then this rubber thing up here where the antenna goes in, that thing there is cracked all up. We're going to put some on it too. All right, well, that looks, I see a little spot right over in this corner. I need to put, I hate to get this on my fingers, but y'all, the finger is the best thing to apply stuff with. You know what I mean? Because you can really put it where you want it with your finger. The problem is, is getting it to let go of your finger when you through putting it. And I don't know if this stuff is going to fix the leak. I'll have to get back with you on that. All right, we're going to go on here heavy with it now. We bought a whole can, and we intend to not save it for something else. I mean, the more I put, the... Uh, and we may glue the... It may wind up gluing the lid down, which I really don't care if it do. Probably would be a, a benefit in my favor if that lid would never flop up again in my life. Y'all, I'm going to cut the camera off while I finish applying this. I mean, y'all don't want to watch but so much of me smearing this mess around. I don't care how gratifying it may seem to you. You just ain't going to get to watch it all. So we'll get back with you when we get done. Well, y'all, we got all the way around it. And yeah, I got it all over me. I haven't got it on my clothes yet. I'm sure I will before I get done. I am a peeding and we are very famous for if we do something, we want to have the evidence on us that we was doing it. Meaning it's all over us. <laughs> I got that from my daddy. I can't help it. Little looksy. Little looksy. I know that probably made you sick right there, but that's what it looks like. I think it's back back here where I'm at now. Where all my most leaks around some of this junk. I'm done across this corner back here. You know that shower, it's right under there. It was in horrible shape. But we're gonna do this skylight. I do think I'm getting better at applying this. First thing I'll do is go in over it now, thin, kind of figure it out, and make sure I get it down in all them cracks good. And then I'm coming back over it with a little thicker uh, application there, come on. Well, y'all, we are getting it did, and I finally managed to get it all over my shirt. Imagine that. <laughs> Made me mad. I was really trying hard not to get this all over me. But I have about got everything over here 
done up fairly good. Uh, I'm still smoothing out some areas over here. I had to open this lid up and uh, it mashed some of that down. So I want it good and thick on there because y'all, I don't want to have to come back and do this again next, next year. And I may very well have to do it again next year anyway. So what I'm doing now is on this corner going down the side, I'm trying it on there. It is white and uh, we'll blend in with the camper somewhat. And I'm gonna try to seal this. And if it don't work, no big deal. I can go back and peel it out, clean it out and get some silicone. But I thought if it'll seal this, it might seal that. We ain't but one way to find out. y'all i know for for a fact that that's some good stuff because it don't just come right off your fingers real easy you have to really roll at it let it dry and work at it it'll come off eventually we may get it all faux dark oh i'm through sealing leaks i gotta wait on my wife to bring back later this evening the uh flooring and we're gonna get started and get it put in there uh I've been running lights. Everything seems to be working good. I have yet to turn on the water. Uh, we'll probably do that in a later video. I may wait and put the flooring in another video. I know we a long ways into all of this. Um, so anyway, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We getting this thing really, really close. It's gonna sit here, it's gonna rain this weekend. So I hope that has time to cure today before rains come in, I think tonight. And we'll know if we've got leaks stopped or not. Uh, I may wish I hadn't put the ceiling and all in there yet, but uh, it is what it is. Ain't that what everybody says? Whatever that means. Uh, thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.